Eric Burgess here, and we've been asked to solve this formula for g. This formula actually describes uh, the distance of a falling object, and so it's one that you'll probably see at some point. It's a useful one to know. And let's go ahead and get this g thing uh, by itself. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of the t squared first. We notice that this is all just multiplication uh, to the g, the one halves being multiplied by the g and the t squared. So we're just going to divide all that stuff out. So if we divide all that stuff out, that's going to be divide by a half t squared. But we can do that to this side too because of the equal sign. We have to do it to both sides to maintain equality. These simplify out to 1. And so it's like 1 times g. And so that's just g. Then on the other side, we have s over 1 half t squared. Now, you can also do this. So let's start right back at the beginning and do 1 half gt squared. Instead of um, dividing by a half like I did there, you can also multiply both sides by 2. And if you do this, uh, when you multiply this side by 2, the 1 half and the 2 simplify to 1 because this 2 simplifies with this 2 and we're left with 1. So we get 2s is equal to gt squared. And then we can divide by t squared to both sides, t squared, and we get 2s over t squared is equal to g. And so this is an equivalent form. So these are actually the same. And I can show this because on this one, if I multiply, so I'll, I'll turn this one into this form just so you see they're the same, but you could put both down as an answer and they would be equivalent. So if I actually multiply by 2 over 2, this is the same thing right here as 1, right? Because 2 divided by 2 is 1, and anything times 1 is itself. So if I multiply by 2 over 2 to this thing, the top would be just multiplied across, so we'd get 2s, and the bottom, this 2 would simplify with this 2, and we'd be left with just t squared equals to g. And we see we get the exact same thing it's just um, how far you want to take it. So this is this is probably the more desirable solution because it's it, uh, it has no fractions as far as like numerical fractions. So I, I would prefer this one. Uh, but, you know, they, they're technically equivalent statements. If you have any questions about this, let me know. Subscribe. If you're a Citrus College student, feel free to swing by online tutoring. We're there to help you out. And we'll catch you in the next problem.